Alright, eight back people. We got a unit here. It's low on refrigerant. So I'm going to do a leak search at the evaporator coil first. This is a four ton. And I only brought my 516, so I'm gonna go down and get a quarter. So I can take the panel off. Look like the coil is back here. All right, so let me do that. All right, all right. I apologize for the lighting, but I forgot my Dewalt cordless in my truck. ahead and get started. All right. Hope I can use my phone light also. Leak. I'm gonna use Big Blue and the H10 Pro. We got bad weather outside. It's um, raining and very cold. Uh, previous technician came out and said that the unit was low on refrigerant. Start up in here, and if the weather permits, getting the breaker sound like the blowers keep running. So I don't know what's going on here. Gotta be careful with this. You see they got the breaker bypass. The breaker is off. They continue to run. So I honestly don't even know how to turn it off without trying to find a breaker. Let's this sit right here. Yeah, this wheel going to it, so that, that's like, I shut it off from here.
Oh, that's a man. I'm just trying to make sure it ain't spill out or nothing. Just for the lighting. Like I said, I'm an electronic leak check before. See, the bad part about this, I haven't hooked my gauges up outside, so I don't know what kind of pressure we have. Because it's, it's very low. Or no, none at all. I think they said it had something in here with this low. But if it's too low, the electronic leak detector will not detect it. Seems like some residue right here.
I don't really see any refrigerant residue anywhere. I don't think we have a leak up here. I think we're good up here. I'm gonna go. Hopefully, I can get outside and check. I'm gonna have to hook up to it. See what kind of pressures we got. Yeah, so I don't see anything out the ordinary. I am going to uh, button this up and uh, go and take a look outside. Rain, sleet, or snow. Uh, real quick, on a safety note, like I said, you got to be very careful with your uh, power. I know I don't speak a lot about safety on a lot of my videos, but I am very cautious and, uh, and use safe practices. Um, like I say, you do want to verify voltage. Like I say, the dis disconnect switch is off, uh, even if it's showing on. See, they got the wires bypass uh, on the bottom. Um, where well, this could have got dangerous at if the unit wasn't calling for heat or cool and the unit was off when I got up here and I'm uh, and I hit this uh, uh, breaker and, and thought the unit was off and if, if I would have touched one of these lines I would have got shot yeah, I had to go to the disconnect box up there to kill power to this unit um, so like I said, we gotta be very careful and verify votes. But all right, so I'm gonna button this up and go outside. And check the pressures, uh, leak check outside. All right, this is the unit right here. Like I said, it's kind of sleeting out here. I don't know if you can see it, but I don't see really any residue or anything on here. And I'm not gonna bring the H10 out here because I don't want to take a risk of sucking any water in there so uh like i say it's it's kind of cool out here i come by it's gonna rain all day so i come back on a better condition day and maybe check out here Ho hopefully the leak is not on the line set um like i say but i just doing a visual inspection i don't see anything uh and they running the heaters. 
So I'm not gonna turn the air on. I might hook my gauges up and check the standing pressure. That's about it. But uh, it's about 11 o'clock. I think I'm just gonna call it a day because most, most of the work is outside. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go go and do some research maybe a little studying anybody got some ideas for growth and development in HVAC business or tech wise leave a comment below and I'll check it out alright